All right, uh, welcome to LTHS Physics. Uh, today we're going to do, uh, this is going to be one example of circular motion, and uh, we're going to walk through some numbers of this one. All right, so here's the first example. We've got a swing. It's like the swings at Great America that go in a circle instead of back and forth. And if you look at the, the thing in profile, it looks something like this. You've got a, a platform, this thing swings, you've got bars sitting down, and then chains or cables holding onto the swings, and then the passengers are there on the chairs, okay? So the passengers, they're doing the circle, and this circle is horizontal. Okay, and here is the data that we're going to give you. Uh, we'll say the, the, this length here is 2 meters. This length here is 3 meters. Let's say that the maximum tension that we want to have in our cable is 1,400 newtons. That's, just, that's the max that we can safely put on it. All right? And let's say the mass of the seat and the passenger together, we're just going to round it to a nice even number, we'll call it 100. So we'll say it's 100 kilograms. All right, so here's what we want to do. I want to find two things. A, well, actually three things. A, what, when this thing is swinging such that this is 1,400 newtons, at what angle from the vertical is that swinging? So I want to find the angle. Uh, how fast are the passengers going? What is their the mag the magnitude of their velocity. And finally, um, how long does it take for them to get around once, okay, when they're going this max velocity? So we're looking at the maximum when that tension reaches 1400 newtons. Now, just on a, on a side note, if this thing were not moving at all and this uh, person were just hanging, well, their weight would be 100 times 9.8, which is 980 newtons. So the tension would be 980. As soon as we start going in a circle, this tension starts to increase. At the moment it reaches 1400, I want that information. Okay, so um, we're going to draw an FBD of a person. We'll, we'll do this over here. And there's only two forces acting on them. There's gravity, which is mg, and there's the tension from the cable, which I'll call that F sub t. Now, um, like all motion, we want to split our forces into components that are parallel to and perpendicular to the motion. Well, in this case, it's kind of tough. You're actually going to have a third direction here. The motion at this moment, let's say this thing's going this way, the motion is out of the board at us. Okay? The circle this thing, this guy's making is a horizontal circle. So we're going to split our forces into the radial direction, which is this way, toward the center of the circle, and then perpendicular to that, which will be up and down. So if we do that, we draw components, well, mg is already perpendicular to that. You've got a component of tension that points up. That would be Ft. You want the adjacent leg to that triangle, so it would be Ft cosine of theta. And then if I look at this guy here, the tension is also pulling them in, holding them in the circle. So that would be Ft sine of theta. Okay, so there's our component FBD. Now, um, I want to find what theta is. Well, if you look in the vertical direction, um, or the perpendicular to the radial direction, uh, there's no acceleration up or down. He's not accelerating that way or that way. So if I do net force in the perpendicular direction equals MA perpendicular, well, that equals zero. Uh, let's we'll say up is positive. If I do that, I've got Ft cosine of theta minus mg equals zero. I've got theta. I know that's 1400. I know that's 100. I know that's 9.8. So cosine theta will be mg over Ft. mg is 100 times 9.8, which is 980 over 1400. And I've done the math in the, in the, in the previously. If you figure out theta, you get 45.6. So that's your angle um, that you'll be moving at. That's this angle here when the thing is going at its max velocity. 
such that the tension is 1400 newtons. Okay? Now, uh, what is that velocity? Well, now we've got to look in the radial direction. He's going in a circle. At this moment, the radial acceleration is going to be inward toward the center of the circle. So, I'll do a different color. If we do net force in the radial direction equals ma in the radial direction, well, there's only one radial force. That's ft sine theta. So we got ft sine theta equals m, and then a is v squared over r. Now, there's one last thing you got to do. What's the radius of the circle? All right, well, we need that distance there. That will give us the radius of the circle that that guy is making. Well, that radius is going to be 2 plus 3, and we want the opposite leg to this angle, so it's going to be 3 sine of theta. So the radius is th or 2 plus 3 sine of theta. And we know theta. It's 45.6. So now all we've got to do is put this in here and solve for V. So if you do a little algebra here, V will be the square root of uh, Ft times R sine of theta over M. So if I plug my, all my values in, velocity is root, Ft is 1400, uh, R is um, 2 plus 3 sine theta, 2 plus 3 sine of 45.6, and then times sine of 45.6, all over the mass of the person and seat, which is 100. You get a velocity. Uh, that velocity you end up with would be 6.44. So 6.44 meters per second. So that's the max speed. That's the fastest that person should go. If they go any faster, you're going to exceed 1,400 newtons of tension, and then who knows what's going to happen. All right, finally, uh, we want to know how long it takes that person to get around the circle. So uh, that's a pretty easy one. We're going to use the equation V equals 2 pi R over T. And I want T, if I do the math, that's V, oh, sorry, that's 2 pi R over v. And I've got all those numbers. So we got 2 pi times 2 plus 3 sine 45.6 all over v, which I just found to be 6.44. And if you plug your numbers in, you get just over 4 seconds. You get something like that. And that would be seconds per rev. So that's how you find. That's the, the, the quickest they should be going around. If they're going around any quicker, they're going too fast, they're going too fast, they exceed their max tension, and bad things happen. So that's an example of, of circular motion um, with forces in multiple directions and showing which, well, which force goes which way and finding, for instance, a max velocity given a max force. Thank you.